Guys, how you doing? Mark Graham, Engineering Manager with Drew. Chef Drew here. We're going to talk about the Chimp today, guys. Uh, we're going to give you a little bit of background on the Chimp, how it started, some of the features. Drew is obviously going to talk about the ability to cook because that's not my thing. You know that. I'll do the steel stuff. <laughs> Unless it's bacon. Unless it's bacon. bacon then, then maybe I want to talk about that. Yeah, fair enough. But, uh, so we're going to give you some information on about the Chimp today. Uh, this has quickly become one of our most popular grills, and honestly, I think, Drew, the size is legit for most families, right? Oh, it's incredible. This is what I have at home, right. and I can't say enough good things about it. I cook on it all the time, two, three times a week, minimum. Right, minimum. so from a size standpoint and a price standpoint, this thing is hard to beat. Yep. I mean, uh, I've cooked three racks of ribs in here easy, just oh, yeah. like it is. And you could put a, we have a jerky rack for this thing too, you can even get more in it, but for this size, you could do a full pack of brisket in there we've done. We've done that. I've actually made over 200 pieces of jerky, about 100 chicken wings. I've cooked for my entire family when they came over. Well over eight people, no problem. Yeah, no and problem. And I think that's something, oh, it's portable, it's not big enough for the family. It really is. Yeah. So let's talk about some of the features, guys. So first thing we wanted to do, at least from my standpoint, I wanted to make this thing sturdy. We knew it was gonna be a portable. It's gonna get thrown around. It needed to have some good stable legs. We wanted the legs to have a little bit of stance to them, kind of like a set of saw horses. So we got a 10 degree going out, 10 degree going this way. It gives this thing, I mean, it, it's solid. I mean, I, I oh, get the grill to jump on this thing right now, but <laughs> that might be, he's busy. <laughs> Next thing, how do you fold these legs up? That's always challenging. You gotta get two people to fold them. Uh, so that was the next thing. It's like, how do we make this thing so one person can fold it up easy? And this is a true story. I don't know if you knew this, but I was doing an umbrella on my deck and I've had it for 15 years, push it up, the little thing snaps in place, kiss, keep it simple, stupid. You know, I always talk about it, right? Yeah, for sure. So, same deal. Push the button, pops in place, and you're done. Push it, simple as that. Not many mechanics go bad. This is simply a little spring thing that if it ever went bad, you just pop it out. We don't want to do a bunch of linkages and things that can wear out over time. It's all about keeping it simple and functional. Um, Next thing you talked about, you hope to take yours out, and we hope to take this thing out, you know, this summer and go camping and shoot oh, some man. on site. At My the beach. wife and I love to camp, and this is going to be one of the first things we throw in there. You know, make sure we have a hookup, we're good to go. Also, we were doing some kind of cool stuff with some local people, local uh, kind of uh, wine producers, and other things around the area. What better way to throw one of these in the back? Right, right. Head down to the vineyard, Southwest Michigan, an hour from here, pop that bad boy out, yeah. meet on the grill, throw it on drink inverter. some wine, yeah. hanging out. Throw it on inverter. Yeah. Um, as far as the construction as well as inside, um, this is a stainless steel lid. Um, what people say when they come in here and grab this thing, even though it's the little portable guy, they're like, dang, that lid's legit, man. Yeah. And then when, once you get in the inside, here at our staff, we just basically like handing people stuff. And when they feel the quality, again, yeah, stainless right steel up. there, this drip pan, this always gets people their attention. When they yeah. grab this, like, oh my gosh, that thing is seriously, I mean, it's thick, heavy. Yeah. You can hear that. It's not some cheesy little thin piece of sheet metal. Um, same thing with the heat shield. Yeah. I mean, good heavy duty stainless steel. Burn pot, stainless steel. And you can see the double layer in here. And as we've noticed here in Michigan, today was raining, then it was sunshine. Oh my gosh. And then it was cold. Yeah. But all, all three stages today. All three. But I tell you what, over the winter time, I've done this and they get literally sub zero temperature. I've done stuff on that, came out no problem. It's just as if it were 60, 70 degrees outside, negative whatever, made no difference. That double insulation takes care of it every single time. I actually had a customer in here, true story, this morning. I was talking about how he's got his grill and he's been using it all winter long. And he goes, I, I don't have any problems with it. He goes, I drove by a guy's house the other day and he had this thing draped over it. Yeah. He goes, what is that, that thing? I said, it's a blanket that they want to sell you to get their grill to run better. Boom. Not saying anything wrong with them. We just do double wall construction, make it solid. You don't need that, this thing will perform. We got guys using them in Canada. Um, it's not a problem, man, this thing rocks. For sure. As far as uh, size of the hopper here, this is a 15 pound hopper. Uh, again, this dual layer, this is what matters. You want this 15 pounds to last as long as you can, right? And by having that extra construction, the heavy construction of the steel keeps that heat in there, makes that 15 pounds last a long time. Absolutely, I, I fill this thing up thrown something on needed to be done that literally took hours. I've gone and run errands, left the house, right. done things I needed to do. I knew it was going to be fun when I got back. Sure enough, not even a quarter of the way gone. Yeah. Running for hours, man. Oh, I, I love seeing those pictures. And uh, so some of the other things we want to talk about is the, the Wi-Fi ability now this thing has. So you talk about at the store. Now right. the new Wi-Fi Alpha Connect board on this thing, you can op obviously operate it out at the grill. But now when this thing is running, you got your app, you're at the store, like, oh, what's, oh, you know what, I want to speed it up a little bit. My meat's a little low. Comes with a meat probe that's plugged yeah. right in your meat. 
man, jack it up. Let's kick the 375. Let's get that thing going by, by the time I'm home. It's ready. Or like, oh, dang Dude, it. I'm not even joking. Sometimes, because I had become, I had kind of a, a weird schedule when I come in here on Thursdays and Fridays. So I'm out doing something, man, running some errands, picking something up from the store. I check it out. I'm like, oh, man, we have a, I got a shoot at 1 o'clock. Crank it up, 50 degrees, on my way. Don't even think about it. Come back here, it's done, ready to go. So it, it makes everything, this grill, I'm telling you, is a solid grill, and it has everything you need. It's portable, great value at 549. That's delivered to your house too, guys. Um, you don't have to go get this thing. And as far as putting it together, maybe eight screws and you're done. The thing's almost fully assembled, so easy to get you up and running really quick. Last thing I want to talk about is some of the extra things that we did. This is one of our workhorses here, so we drug it out here. Um, as you can see on here, we got a little caddy that we like to use that hooks on the side. You can put your sauces and rubs in here. We also got the front shelf. This is something that everybody loved about the Silverback, wanted it for the chimp. So now we got this nice little front shelf that clips on the front and it gives you the extra space to oh, do your prep, right? It's perfect. Just for a rack perfect. of ribs, something oh, you want yeah. to drag it out. You really um, need that, yeah, especially wrapping, unwrapping, whatever you're doing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, right there. We got this cool little uh, uh, vent cover over here too. You know what, right that thing is, we did it because uh, that's just cool. <laughs> <laughs> that is part of the in true story on that as well. But with the smoke coming off the side here, you get the handle a little hot and greasy. We wanted to divert it. It wasn't that big a deal, but hey, we got laser centers and we like to make stuff here. So we made it, put it on Facebook, and everybody's like, man, I want one of those. Hey, okay, you want it, you got it. So those are just some of the extras that we added to this grill just to elevate it that much further. Um, like I said, we got jerky racks for it. Uh, you guys ask for this stuff. This is what we do, man. Uh, I love making this stuff. Uh, our engineering group loves hearing what you guys want, and uh, we try to bring it to you. So, man, I know you have it at home. You work the crap out of it. As you can see, this thing's a little dirty, but it's a workhorse here, and we've cleaned it up. You mentioned you just cleaned yours, right? I did. I swear I use it all the time. I love it. It's really good in the summertime, too, because you can just have to fire up that stuff inside and get your kitchen all hot and just cook outside, so use as much as possible. Start to finish, guys, and the grill is kind of dirty. I've been busy. I didn't get a chance to get around to it for a week or two. Start to finish 10 minutes. Done. I'm ready to go. So. You get the right stuff. We use totally awesome. It's a cheap oh, stuff right you on. get at a dollar store. Yeah. You use that in the stainless, that stuff that you scrub so hard, it just runs right off. And then I like using like a Wyman stainless steel cleaner or hot soap and water on the painted surface. Yeah. Mine's been on my silverback's been on my deck for four years. I cleaned it up this summer. I wasn't getting a lot of love. My chip was getting all the love. <laughs> but I went out there and spent probably 15 minutes, hot water, Wyman's, yeah. and the totally awesome. And do the thing look like brand new. So. Yeah, it's just that fast comes right back. So we just want to take a few minutes, guys, me and Drew here, talk about the chimp, give you some inside scoop on what it's all about, how it's constructed, the durability, and uh, the flexibility, I think, right, man? Absolutely, 100%. Obviously, if you've got any choice, uh, any other questions, shoot us an email at grillmaster at grill of grills. Give us a call. We love talking with everybody. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Cheers, guys. On the smoke. <laughs>